Le'Veon Bell, as always, patient, and then finding a seam for five yards. This is not unexpected with the news of Sam Darnold. As they go with a direct snap to Le'Veon Bell. He's just a starter who happens to be on the same team as Sam Darnold. Right now, he doesn't have a completion. And that time, Bell is ridden down by Murray, and it helps out the Bears get in position for what was a game-winning field goal in Denver. Now, first and 20 as they look to set up the screen and just getting free for a moment. Last time he started was at the end of his two years as a starter for Denver, as that's what they do there. Schobert gets the tackle. Omaha, cut. First and five after the penalty. Le'Veon Bell with a good run. Go back to Bell. And I think the Browns knew all about that as Sheldon Richardson set up a wall in front. And right now, Luke Falk, in his second season out of Washington State, is the quarterback for the Jets after the penalty. And Le'Veon Bell takes it past midfield. And now here he is on Monday Night Football against the Browns, trailing by 13. And straight up ahead for a first down is Le'Veon Bell. And all of a sudden, the Jets are finding something, of course. It's a kid that was originally a walk-on for Mike Leach, and he ends up becoming a Pac-12 record holder. And now Bell bounces it to the outside and gets a spin move. Second and three. Short pitch to the outside for Bell. And Bell has another first down for the Jets. And this time, unable to get any yardage with Schobert with the tackle. Gets it out quickly. That was the way to do it, but the Browns were right on top of it. All of those completions are behind the line of scrimmage. So that tells you all you need to know about the situation with the Jets offense tonight as they have Luke Falk in at quarterback. Of course, they go with the delay as Bell is taken down about a yard behind the line of scrimmage. Now Bell trying to give him some breathing room, but he was met by Jermaine Whitehead and Joe Schober throwing the ball past the line of scrimmage. And this one is not past the line of scrimmage again to Le'Veon Bell. And a second and 21 from the two. And Le'Veon with a little bit of breathing room out towards the eight. Offense, nice play by Robbie Anderson. And Bell is stacked up and sent back that time. Second and nine. Here's Bell out of the backfield, and he is forced out of bounds that time. Second and six. Here's Bell. And he spins for one more yard. What do they come up with? Falk. Can Bell get there for him? No. Going to be about a half yard short. We expected to see last week. For a pitch to the outside, Bell made the first man miss, a stiff arm, and then shouldered out of bounds. That's who, right there. The guy who just went for 89 yards. The tackle for loss this time, who is out with Mono. And here's Falk on first down with time, and he will check down to Bell. Makes the first man miss, a little stutter step, and goes ahead, then hurdles and stays in. Mika Fitzpatrick is a do-it-all safety. He can run, he can cover. I think it's a good fit. Bell wrapped up. Well, the last notable player in Miami. So we got 14 more games to go. Third down and 11. As Miles Garrett absolutely crushed Luke Falk. And now reversing course is Bell and weaving his way. I mean, the effort from Le'Veon Bell is something. He's a gunslinger, man. I mean, he's going to try to get the big chunk plays down the field. The screen pass now to Bell. Let's go back to that pickoff book. You mean next week when the assignment is to go to New England? I didn't say it was going to be easy. I just said next <laughs> week. <laughs> There's Bell out of the backfield. Made the first man miss and then turns it on. And the ball comes out and it's a turnover.